before I put up the vlogs from previous days of basically uh, what we've been up to and what you guys have missed, just want to come and tell you guys that I have not deleted all of the videos. I almost said deleted, y'all. They're like, wait a minute, whoa, pause. I have put all the videos, all of our past videos on Unlisted and I put them into a playlist. So if anyone wants to watch, it'll always be in the description box. Um, but I just kind of want to revamp the Bells Plus One. I don't want it to be based off of negativity and um, I don't want us to be what we're going through, basically. I don't want us to be known for the family who basically is falling apart around a situation. Um, even if we get out of the situation and everything, it will be our testimony. So that's why I just didn't delete, delete it. But I don't want it to be searchable on YouTube. So also the videos that are already up right now from the past month within the past month they're gonna be up for a little bit but eventually i'll probably put those unlisted too so this will be the first video hopefully this will be the first video that um probably new people see about vlog vlogs but hi new people we are the bells plus one we've been doing youtube for three years um i started youtube when i was three months pregnant on april 21st 2013 because i wanted to document my pregnancy with my child who is now two and she'll be three october 28 2013 so if you're interested like i said in seeing her grow that playlist will be below in every video so i'll talk to y'all in the vlog when it, you know shifts over to the next scene i don't know i'll talk to y'all later all right <laughs> and also i don't know what my upload schedule is gonna be um especially with me starting work and stuff soon so yeah i'm gonna try to do daily vlogging i'm gonna do i'm gonna basically do as frequent videos as i want to which will probably be daily vlogs but i'm not promising anything um but more than likely it'll be daily, daily vlogs you know because i'm addicted but anyway here goes the video that you guys missed love you guys thank you for supporting i've read all your comments and i appreciate every last one of you guys bye so this is where we'll be sleeping well Mimi will be sleeping right here it's cooler in here so that's why we're gonna sleep in the living room and i'll probably just put blankets down on the um, rug and sleep there and i'll put her sheets on her bed the reason she's sleeping on a mattress is because this is her bed and um tomorrow yay to, you love your mess yeah tomorrow i'm gonna try to um <laughs> break it down and stuff and hopefully i can get the twin from nada's house and uh because that's a twin size bed so if it can fit in my car if not then she'll just be sleeping on her toddler bed be careful baby before it falls she'll just be sleeping on her toddler bed until um i can move all the stuff from Nada's. Yes, mommy. And this is the yard room in there. I'm thinking of just giving Mimi's this room in here. Oh, these are, um, these mattresses are the landlord's because he's selling this bed and Aubrey wanted this bed. So those mattresses go with that bed. So when Aubrey pays for it, she's gonna come get that bed. No, baby, don't, no, it's not ours, get down. But I'm thinking of giving her this master um, bedroom because it's bigger and she has a lot of toys and stuff. And I really don't need a big room, so I'll probably take this room, and then this room would be my makeup room. In here. Oh, close it. Uh huh. You gonna close? Oh, you gonna get in the tub soon? You can wash your hands. I love how small the bathroom is. Like, it's not super small. Like, I can still, like, you know, like, I'm, it's like my hip, kind of. But she can reach the sink and she can sit on the toilet by herself without a step stool. So, that's awesome. What, baby? Why are you closing the doors? What are you doing? Today is our first night in the house. Rough. I'm already feeling it because it's getting dark. But, you know, and you know, and like I said, I wasn't um, really vlogging, so I'll just piece 
all of these clips together because I'm sure I'll vlog something tomorrow because I have a vlogging addiction. But I did want to still like capture some of these moments of, you know, it's our first night. So this is like, I feel like a moment to capture. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, my eyebrows are all types of messed up because of this damn slit I did. So now my eyebrows are grown weird and I shape them weird. So ignore all that. I don't have any makeup on, no gum pop. So we're just basically getting ready for bed in a very quiet house. Mimi won't lay in her bed, on her bed. She wants to lay beside me. So once she goes to sleep, this is crazy. Then I'm going to lay her on her bed. She opened her toy that she was supposed to open for her channel, but she kept asking me and I wanted to kind of keep her mind occupied. So this is her toy that was supposed to be on her channel. Oh, it's from Doc McStuffins. Ooh, Jojo. Anybody remember? Show girls, no Jojo. Jo -Jo. What? Okay, show them Jojo. It's working, Mama. Jojo's not working? Jojo's not working. Let me see. Let me push him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> show the So I feel like this is like my diary right now instead of a daily vlog because I'm not posting any vlogs um, until I get my internet or until I feel like posting a vlog. So um, some advice you guys when you're going through a depression or um, a situation in your life where you you just feel so hurt and you you just you're down a lot of people will tell you get, come on go get yourself up and go do stuff and um be happy be happy be happy but i feel like it's the same when someone dies i feel like that you have to feel i don't know if i'm the only person but whenever people email me or dm me or whatever asking me advice about getting a divorce or leaving a relationship for a long time or even someone dying in their family really close to them I always tell them take time to feel if you do not take time to feel one day it's all gonna hit you at once and you're just gonna fall apart and you might get back up from that but a lot of people don't get back up from that and it scars them and they're really like stressed out for the majority of their life or they're just harboring these feelings in their head and they don't want to ever let it out and when they do let it out they let it out the wrong times or just on people like don't do that feel if you're hurt if you're depressed feel for right now give yourself time to just seclude yourself in your house or in your room or wherever and just feel if it's for 24 hours if it's for a couple of hours maybe a week just feel get all your crying out get all of your bad negative feelings out if you vlog vlog it i'm so tired of people not vlogging real life situations because it helps as vloggers don't hold everything in it's okay we're all human we all go through struggles we all have problems in our marriages in our relationships with our kids any and everything this is we're human this is real life seriously god did not make a perfect person and i'm tired of people especially people who commenting acting like they're perfect no one's perfect you've been through struggles in your life stop acting like you haven't it's about back when your friend becky stole your money but when john john had a baby on you there's so many different struggles that people have like so and I'm just I'm saying all this to say don't judge other people for their struggles 
everyone has their own way of doing things as well and i just feel like let it out scream to the rooftops let it out taking time to like play with her and show her a whole bunch of affection a whole bunch of love i feel like i just need to put myself into into feeling for me so i can recover and feel better for me and also to put myself into her so and this is just some advice for you guys um that are going through things especially the ones who email me just hurt for right now it's okay to hurt let yourself hurt let yourself hurt because after you hurt the rainbow's gonna come out and everything's gonna be okay but if you don't hurt things are gonna be okay it's gonna feel like one thing after another after another after another just sit and feel after i come back i'm not going to be depressed anymore i'm not about to sit here and cry all the time like i when i come back I we're gonna do fun stuff we're gonna have fun we're gonna live life and if he comes back and comes into our life then it's going to be positivity and I'm just done I just want to feel feel the negativity and just get it out of my system and live my life as a happy person because that's the type of person I am and also, um, I'm young, so I mean, like, who has time? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> but for real, like, I'm young. I'm 25, and I just feel like I have my whole life to live. Now it's thundering. I have the biggest headache. I don't know if it was from the thunder or what, but I have. Oops, wait, y'all can see. I have the biggest headache. Um. I was reading some of the comments from the video from earlier and people were saying like where's my mom and all this stuff um yeah my mom's in florida my stepdad's stationed in florida he's in the air force and they won't be there long um so because i've already signed a lease i will be here and if things persist to get worse then in a year, because my lease is a year, so in a year, my mom and my dad will have retired and they'll pick the place where they're gonna retire because they're not, in a year they won't be in Florida. So there'd be no point in me moving to Florida because they're moving. So like I said, I already signed a year lease and I'm not about to pay to get out of it. Uh, hopefully everything will play out the way I want it to play out. And like I said, if not, then I'll probably go wherever they settle down to retire and then start my life over. But, yeah. And I'm hoping to be able to go see my family for Thanksgiving so I can have some type of family time. Maybe even Christmas, I don't know. But I know I'm probably going to take like a month and just see my family and even if I split it up between two weeks in Philly and two weeks in Florida I don't know but I just I just uh I feel like I see them once a year so a month isn't too long go back to sleep I just literally can't because my head is like throbbing so I was just reading comments and I thought I'd just say a few words but I'm going to sleep good night y'all See you on the morning.